What's going on YouTube? Today I want to take you through the single arm cable row. We're going to place our single handle attachment on the cable machine and then pick a weight that feels good for you. When I set up for the single arm cable row, I like to leave a little bit of room here to actually work. So I'll actually place my opposite foot on the board and I'll leave the other one on the ground. The first motion of a row is retraction. Okay, so we're not just pulling with the arm like I'm showing here. We're actually pulling that shoulder blade back first and then bringing the elbow through and puffing the chest out at the end of that row. We want to think about getting the elbow as close to the midline of the body as we possibly can. I want you to think about squeezing the elbow in towards your ribs. We want 90 degrees in that elbow as well when we row. We don't want to row too high up towards the chest or too low down towards the hip. Some common mistakes here are making this two separate motions, kind of a very clunky motion. We want that rotation to happen in that like first third of that row. It's okay if it's a little clunky at first, just work on making this one smooth motion. Common mistake number two, I alluded to this before, it's just pulling with the hand. As you can see, there's not much going on at that shoulder blade there. We wanna pull the shoulder blade back. You can also think of it as pulling the armpit back and then get the elbow tight to the side and pull the chest through. One of my favorite cues to teach this is think about the weight being attached to your elbow, not your hand. Think about somebody having a string attached to your elbow and they're pulling you back there and you're keeping your elbow tight. That's the single arm row.